Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if it's your first time at JLJ Back to Classic. Today I am doing a handbag collection. I've had requests to do that for the past about six or eight months and I just got another one so I thought I would do my very small Louis Vuitton collection. One reason being I have a special story about the first Louis Vuitton I ever bought in 1984. Oh, and before I get to the collection, also I want to talk about um, a sale going on at 100% Pure. They're having a 20% off Columbus Day sale. It ends on the 10th of October. I, is that Monday? I'm not sure. I think it's Monday. I'll put it down below here if I'm wrong. But I want to bring that up because on my favorites video, September favorites 2016, I was given a 15% off code, a special code for my followers, and I was so excited, I told you all about it. So yesterday when I found out, when I was online, just like everybody else, and found out there was now a 20% off sale for everybody, I immediately contacted my representative because I am an affiliate with 100% Pure, and I said, I feel so bad. I encouraged everybody to shop for 15% off. She said, no problem. Actually, when and anybody, when this happens, if you ever are shopping at 100% Pure and a sale happens within a couple of days, just call them and they will price adjust. So any of you who shopped my 15% off code, all you have to do is call in, tell them, and they will price adjust and just refer to this Columbus Day sale that's going on right now for 20% off. So that's great. And speaking of makeup, I'm wearing new um, lip color and new eye color. It's kind of all peach. Uh, I've been wearing a lot of pink cheek color, but this is peach. And the eye color is an eye palette and it's all rosy browns. So if you're interested, I'll have it listed on my blog, all the details of everything I talk about today on my blog, and my link to my blog will be down below. Okay, now to the handbags. My first handbag I'm going to talk about is my Louis Vuitton Speedy 30, which you all have seen me carry with the separate shoulder strap. I bought this in 94, but I have to tell you a quick story about what led up to it and why it has such meaning for me today and did when I bought it. Back in 1984, in the fall, I went out on a second date with a man I really liked. I hadn't met my husband yet. And we're in a Chinese restaurant and I'm carrying a Fendi. Now let me tell you about this Fendi. I, in high school, college, girls didn't carry designer bags. Even the well-to-do girls didn't carry designer bags. It just wasn't a thing then. Um, I remember the only label that anybody really was talking about was the alligator shirt. So I, you know, my mother was carrying a Speedy 30 back then, but I never translated that to I should be carrying one in high school or college, just never thought about it. And neither did other girls my age. But in 1980, my parents were invited by a family in Italy to come to a wedding. They were family friends and they took me along because I was in college then and it was in between, it was in the summer. And my mother, and we stayed at the Hassler Hotel, which was a beautiful hotel, but my mother took me to the Fendi store. Fendi is an Italian brand and she bought me the most beautiful special bag as a commemorative of our trip. and. I loved it. It was a little rectangular shoulder bag. It was coated canvas about this long, this tall, about this wide, zipper top, and a simple shoulder strap, and I loved that bag. That was 1980. I go on this date, the second date with this gentleman in 1984, and we're getting to know each other, and I have my bag there on the bench beside me, all proud, because I love my bag. And he happens to mention that he used to work at a designer brand. He didn't say what company he worked for. He just said a designer clothing company or something like that in the marketing or the advertising department. I don't remember. And he then said he hated logo bags or logo products. I can't remember which. I don't remember because I went into 
terror freeze right then because I'm carrying a logo bag. That's how much I cared what people thought of me. It would have been the same had it been anybody that I liked and wanted to be friends with or wanted to go out with again. I was so afraid they would judge me badly because of something they didn't like about anything about me. Even if it was something that was not anything wrong, like carrying a Fendi handbag. He didn't say Fendi and he didn't seem upset with me, but and he did go on to ask me out again after that, but you know what? I got rid of that bag. That's what I'm, I think is so sad. I gave it away to charity, which was a good thing, but the reason I did it was not a good reason. It was because I cared what this person thought of a handbag I carried. And I liked this handbag, and it was a special handbag, a gift, and on a very special occasion, my first and only trip to Rome and the Fendi store, just sad, all the way around sad. Plus. We never went out again. He asked me out again, but by then I had met my husband. He had been, this man had gone away for six weeks. And when he came back, he asked me out again, but I had been dating my husband by then. And so I declined. Very nice guy. I just was not meant to be with him. I was meant to be with, with my guy who I'm now married to. So that's my Fendi story. Let's go forward from 84 to the fall, again fall, of 94. That's when I get my Louis Vuitton. I had decided by then that was ridiculous what I did. I shouldn't have just given away a bag or sold a bag or anything just because someone else didn't like it. And boy did I go, this was going to, I mean if I was worried if somebody would notice my handbag before, they were really going to notice it now. And I thought, I'm not going to worry about it. I like the bag. My mother has carried that bag since the 60s, or she thinks she bought hers in 19, mid 60s in Houston, in the Galleria Mall, but we're not really sure. Um, so I got my bag. I'll tell you what I learned about these bags. Uh, my mother took her bag in about 12 years ago because it had split. If you let these bags sit like, like this and it continually falls like that when it's being stored, it can split. And that's what happened to my mother's bag and it ruined it, totally ruined it. So I always stuff my bags. Now the handle didn't come with it, but I did buy the handle separately. I mean, handle shoulder strap. You can see it has patinaed quite a lot. It was the light vachetta leather and it's now quite honeyed. So has the strap. All the hardware has tarnished. Rivets really have tarnished. In fact, around the edges, it's got verdigris, which is that green color that metal turns, but I'm okay with it. I did check. It's curious if you wanna know how much it costs to replace the metal. If you want to replace the rivets, it's $60. If you want to replace the top zipper, it's $90. I guess that's just for the, well, no, that's the whole zipper, right? $90. And the rings, those four square rings are $300. So that adds up to, what, $360 plus $90. What is that? $450 to replace the hardware. Considering a new bag today is $9. 70, I don't know, it's, you know, I don't know. I don't think I would do that. Um, if you wanted to replace the leather, that was interesting. You can replace all the leather on your bag for $5.95. Um, so I guess it just depends on the person. My mother, um, yeah, it was sad that, that that split like that, but her hardware, I mean, her leather was the dark brown leather. She didn't have the Vachetta leather. Okay. So that was my first designer bag I bought after I gave away my Fendi. The next one I bought was, uh, my next Louis Vuitton was this Avalon is what they call it. This is in the Vernie leather, which is patent leather. Again, it's got the monogram. And I got this because I wanted a bag that would go with a pair. I had several pairs of shoes. I had pumps and I had low kitten heel shoes that were this dark kind of creamy yellowish ivory or bone. And I couldn't, I carried that pair of, I carried one pump around with me for a year. I went to all the department stores in our town. I went to TJ Maxx. I went to Marshall's. I went all over waterside shops 
And finally, I found the bag color I wanted at Louis Vuitton. Now, the thing is, it is an open top, which means everything is visible inside. But the great thing was, oh, this is all my paperwork. In case I forgot the name of the bag, I wanted to tell you. Let me check to make sure. I think it's the Avalon. It's the Avalon MMMVB, and then it's C-O-R-A-I-L. I'm not sure what that means. That may be the color. And I bought this in January of 2013. I'd forgotten the year. So let me take that out. But that neat pouch in here did not come with the bag. It was just a, a gift with uh, at a fashion show. My mother and I each got one. It had some makeup samples in it. And it was perfect for inside the bag. But you can see it's a... Uh, definitely open top. You can close it with this hook and loop here. It does have a zipper compartment here and a, let's see, two slipper pockets here. You see the two slipper pockets? <laughs> I'm trying to see in my viewfinder of my camera there. The two slipper pockets. So that's why I really like uh, the insert. But I did notice it's not available. They don't carry this uh, bag at Louis Vuitton anymore. But I did notice that it is online, uh, pre-loved, as they say, or used. So I'll put links on my blog to the pre-loved versions if you're interested. It's such a pretty bag. I use this just really for dressier occasions, like lunch at, at a, you know, like Easter brunch or or dinner out with my husband, that kind of thing. Really pretty bag. My next Louis Vuitton I got as a result of a friend of mine um, had this color of vernis leather Louis Vuitton and I loved the color. I especially loved the gold hardware. She actually had a different style bag. It was more of a little small tote with the matching handle and no hardware. And when I went down to take a look at it, I found this one. And I kept this in here because I can't remember what this one is called um, or the year I got it. I got that one in 2013. I got this one in... Oh, I was wrong. I got this one next. This one. And this is the Alma BB Grease Art Deco. G-R-I-S. I think that's the color. Art Deco. October 13th, 2010. This bag, like I said, I loved the color of the, the patent leather. It's silver metallic, so it's reflective even beyond the patent leather. And it also has the cute key protector. It's got two keys. It has the Louis Vuitton lock and it comes with the handle, which is crossbody. I just love the gold zipper, all the gold hardware. It is small, but as long as I have room for my, hand, uh, my phone, I'm happy. And this has plenty of room for a phone and then some. And this, oh, speaking of where these were made, I see this one was made in Paris. Also, I'm not sure where the Avalon was made, but this one was Paris. And so it just has that little slip pocket. That's it. So I use this again for dressy occasions because of the, the style of it. It's patent leather bag. I will wear patent leather shoes for more casual, but I don't know. I just, you could do this casual, this one. Um, actually, either one would look great with jeans and gold sandals or gold loafers. Uh, I just tend to, to save them because they are more special to me in terms of price. Um, and because of the patent leather, I'm worried about scratches and that kind of thing. So I save them and I still use them. I just use them for evening when I know I'm not going to be out for a long time and worrying about where am I going to put my bag. So did I tell you everything about that? Yes. Okay. At the same time that I got this bag, I 
thought about, well, what will I carry my credit cards in and that kind of thing because maybe I'll, you know, actually technically there's room for a wallet, but I thought it would be fun to have a matching because I love that color so much. So I did get a small leather item and I'll show that to you. But I want to show you how they present their packages or their products, which is their packaging is just so pretty. So it, they gave me a little handbag, even though they gave me a big carrying bag for, for this and a box and a dust bag. They also gave me a little bag for this item. So in the little bag was the box and all the information about the item. And in the box, it has a little drawer. I just think these are so pretty. And as you can see, there's a little dust bag for the small leather item, which is just so special. So here's my card holder. That's what I ended up getting. Again, I love the gold hardware with the vernis, the gray sort of pewter, I guess pewter. And here's what it looks like inside. This was Now this is interesting. This said Louis Vuitton Paris, but made in Spain. So this one said Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. The bag was Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. Isn't that funny? I never thought about that until I saw all of you checking. I'm, I don't know. If any of you know why that's important, is it some, I know it seems to be something people care about. I, it never has really been an issue for me. If I got it at the Louis Vuitton store, I knew it was Louis Vuitton. I didn't really mind where it was made, but that's the card holder. So really cute. It fits. I put my money, my credit card, my driver's license, that kind of thing and I'm good to go. The last Louis Vuitton item I bought is this Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandolier 30. So it's the Speedy 30, but it's the Bandolier version. And that's, the difference is it has this leather strap here and here, it has these rings here, and it has a shoulder strap, separate shoulder strap that comes with it. Now I have mine stuffed right now, so that's why it's extra perfect looking. And oh, all this came with the bag. I'll tell you the story. These come actually folded now. When I bought my first Speedy 30, they were, you know, at Saks or I don't think they folded them back then. If they did, they unfolded them by the time that you saw them. So here's my strap. I just punch holes in this plastic bag so that air can get through and I keep it like this. But back then, like I said, they didn't, I don't know that they folded them. I never heard of anybody folded them. And now that I know the story of what happened to my mother's that was folded accidentally when it would fall in, when it was stored, I would not want my bag folded. So when I ordered mine, I ordered it through Nordstrom they have a Louis Vuitton boutique in the Nordstrom store in Chicago and in the several other stores. So I, they were having a triple point weekend. So I ordered it with my Nordstrom card and got double points because I don't think they do triple points for their designer bags. And I specifically asked them to please stuff it and to put it in a box that would fit it stuffed and then of course a dust bag that would fit it stuffed and they did all that and so it came with all those these great things in it and I'm just keeping them in there so I so that's something to keep in mind I've heard of people storing their bags folded they think that's okay because they come that way but I don't know that that's a good idea but I was concerned about the creasing how long would it take it's it, the creasing is coming out it's taking months to do it, but I don't know if you can see. The creasing is slightly there, um, right there. You know, it's where it was folded. It's a, but it's coming out. It's definitely coming out because I'm keeping it constantly puffed up when, when I don't use it. So what do I think of this bag? I love this bag. I wear it with totally different colors than I wear my darker bag. I wear this with lighter colors. I love it with grays and um, neutrals. Just 
great sort of neutral bag. This is actually navy, these squares, sort of a like a basket weave look pattern. I love the pattern. I've been looking at the damier. I don't think I mentioned that, that this this coated canvas is called Damier Azure, and I believe Azure is blue in French. I've loved that pattern for many years, just wasn't sure what bag to get, and because I love my Speedy in the logo, the original bag, I thought it was a good idea to get the same thing again, but with the, the proper shoulder straps, so I love that. The other difference between that bag and this bag, because it's older, they didn't have a place up here. This has a raised section here, as you can see, right here, where you actually put the um, lock if you want to. The lock is still in the bag. I haven't, I don't know, I've just not thought to do that. But that's where you put the lock and then you can put them together and lock the zippers. This bag I saw was made in, well, it just says Louis Vuitton Paris. I don't know where it was made, but it's Louis Vuitton Paris. And it has a zipper pocket there and a key loop or key ring there. And I guess that's all about the difference. Really pretty bag. The other option was the Neverfull. I think the Never, well, there were many options, but the other one I was considering was the Neverfull. It comes in several sizes. The Speedy comes in several sizes, 25, 30, and I believe 35 in the Bandolier and in the regular Speedy. And in the Azure, I, um, I really, it was a toss up between the, the Neverfull, but I love my Speedy 30. I. I'm very happy I got it. So I guess that's all I wanted to say about my Louis Vuitton collection. I hope it was entertaining or I hope you at least learned some things that you maybe didn't know before. And I appreciate you watching this video because I have a feeling it's going to be long. If you've got any co comments or questions, I please leave them in the comment section below or on Facebook or Instagram or my blog. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, I would love it if you would subscribe because then you'll know as soon as I post a new video. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.